Hey, it's your boy Easy, and on today's episode of Easy Opens, we're going to be taking a look at SH Figuarts Common Rider Cross Z. All right, so here is SH Figuarts Common Rider Cross Z. I about said Z Cross, but that's a different rider. A couple of facts about Common Rider Cross Z. They are from the TV show Common Rider Build that ran from September 2017 to August of 2018. Their real name is Banjo Ryuga, which is an awesome name if you ask me. I always forget that Banjo could just be your name, which is, I don't know, really cool. They are the secondary writer for Kamen Rider Build, an ex-professional fighter, and possibly a murderer. We don't know. Well, I mean, if you, you do know if you've watched the series, but if you haven't watched the series, you don't know. And you could find out if you watch it. I'm not gonna tell ya. So... To be honest, I'm conflicted about this character, this suit's design, I should say, because I love the character. The character's fantastic, but the this initial suit, I don't know how I feel about it. Generally, I love their first forms, their base forms, uh, generally across the board. And this one, when I think back on it, I don't really think I like it that much. And I remember when I watched the series, I was kind of conflicted too. But as I hold it in my hand, I'm like, this looks really cool. I do like a lot of elements about this figure or this suit design. And there's still something about it that, that throws me off and I'm not sure what it is. I think it might have something to do with the white fang type thing on the upper bicep shoulder area that, that goes up. Something about that, I think, throws me off. I love the white, and I love the, the fang parts, but I think that having it jut up on both sides does something weird to me, like my eyes. Like, I just don't, I don't know, it just doesn't seem right. But I love the, the colors. I think those look really cool. The flames are a little cheesy, in my opinion, but that's just my own biased opinion. Like, you know, that's just that's just subjective. At the same time, they're not the worst thing I've ever seen. But uh, the thing I absolutely do love is the head sculpt, like the head uh, mask part is awesome. I, I definitely loved the, uh, the transformation scene on, on the show. And I'm a sucker for translucent plastic, so the eyes, the blue eyes look really cool. And then the arms, like the forearms have like they're like two different heads of a dragon like or two different parts like a top and bottom part of a dragon like head and mouth and that's really neat they're both you know the right one's blue and the uh left one's got that bronze gold color and that looks awesome i love the white uh fangs that uh, fangs probably not the right word scale i don't know i don't know but whatever the white things are that pop off uh the white blades on the side blade probably works uh, those are really neat, and yeah, I I don't know. There's just something that I don't get, and I was like looking at the figure, hoping that like, oh, if I look at it a different way, then you can see that, uh, like, kind of like how with Bloodstock, there there are like multiple like ways you can see a cobra motif in the suit, and the dragon motif just kind of falls apart a little bit here and there with this this figure. However, that being said, holding the figure in hand. They, they still look really cool. So I don't know. I'm conflicted. But nevertheless, I do like this figure. But we'll get into more of that later. So Common Rider Cross Z comes with seven different hands. The Beat Closer Sword. The part of the uh, Beat Closer that they use to charge the weapon. The Dragon Full Bottle. The Lock Full Bottle. And Close Dragon. All right, let's take a look at the articulation you're going to get out of Common Rider Cross Z. So starting with the head, you get 360 at the neck, and uh, he can look up a considerable amount, and then they can look down uh, quite a bit as well, which is legit. The shoulder pads go up on both sides, which is awesome, freeing the arms up. Let's see, I'm going to try to do this without knocking off the shoulder pad, because that's been happening to me lately. But you can get 360 at the shoulder, which is legit. And then you get some swivel at the bicep. You got double jointed elbows right there. And then you've got interchangeable hands, which means that usually you've got some uh, freedom of articulation there. Some 360 rotation as well as some back and forth with the joint that's there. Now, 
Moving to the chest, you get some rockability. Rockability, is that a word? Jeez. Uh, you get some front and back. You can go back quite a bit. You can go forward, uh, you know, just a little bit. But then you got to be careful with these things right here because I've already thought that I've broken them three times while doing this. And, uh, yeah, they are kind of uh, low. They hang pretty low there. So uh, they are hitting the driver sometimes. So be careful of that. You also get the uh, crank there on the driver, which is always appreciated. And uh, you get some 360 at the uh, <laughs> at the uh, waist, which is cool. And you get some back and forth up at the top of it as well, um, probably from the chest. It's kind of hard to tell if it's separating there at the bottom. I think it is just the chest, but nevertheless, I don't like to mess around with these too much in the articulation area because I don't want to break them because they're expensive. So yeah, we'll just leave it at that. But now moving on down to below the torso, uh, this figure is mostly like build is down from the, the waist down. And uh, the these have the old style uh, figure arts where the, the hips drop down a little bit. Mine do some on different ones uh, more than others, but you can see it here. It's certainly not as much as they used to back in the day, but still that's also there if you need that. Uh, you've got some thigh rotation. You can get uh, 360 at the, uh, at the leg, I believe. Oh, nope, there he goes. Oh my goodness. My heart just stopped, but no, that's just a plug-in, so that's good. But uh, let's try that again. Get in there. Oh, geez. Okay, disaster averted. Uh, you can't really get 360, but you can get a good range of motion there. I wouldn't try it because I don't want to break it again, but uh, you can get some good motion. He's got a, a really good range behind him and good range forward as well. You get double jointed uh, knees, which is cool. You get the ankle rocker back and forth, uh, front to back, and you get some uh, 360 there as well, as well as uh, a toe joint, which, you know, comes in handy. And I believe, unless I break this again, that is all the articulation you're going to get out of Common Rider Cross Z. Now, according to Common Rider Wiki, this character stands at about almost six and a half feet tall and weighs around 225 pounds. This figure, however, stands at about six inches tall and weighs around three ounces. Now let's see how they measure up to some other figures you might have in your collection. Here they are with Storm Collectibles Sub-Zero and McFarlane's Shao Kahn. Here they are with Hasbro's Power Rangers Lightning Blue Centurion and Jazzwares Agent Peely. Here they are with Marvel Legends X-Force Wolverine and Jada Toys Fei Long. Here they are with NECA's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1987 animated series Michelangelo figure and NECA's Return to New York Leonardo figure. Here they are with the NECA Mirage Comics Shredder figure and the TMNT slash Batman crossover Shredder figure. Here they are with the NECA knockoff colored bandana Donatello figure and the Super 7 Donatello figure. Here they are with Masters of the Universe Classics, King Grayskull, and Figma's Link. Here they are with SH Figuarts Bloodstock and SH Figuarts Night Rogue. Here they are with SH Figuarts Common Rider Rogue and Common Rider Grease. Here they are with SH Figuarts Common Rider Build and SH Figuarts Common Rider 01. Common Rider Build is one of my favorite seasons of Common Rider. I thought it was funny and really cool and had a lot of suspense and a good story. And the other characters besides the main character, the supporting cast, if you will, uh, they were excellent. And among them was Banjo Ryuga, and otherwise known as Common Rider Cross Z. And they were great as a character, the actor. I loved them. And I really enjoyed this suit. I liked this suit on the show. The toy form, for some reason, just doesn't quite hit me the same way. It's still good and I like it. But there's something about it that just makes me feel weird about it. I think it looks cool, but there's things about it that I don't like. And I definitely like it as a whole. But 
it is probably one of my least favorite suits from Kamen Rider build. I think a lot of that has to do with the vest chest area. There's something about the design of it. I think it works well on the show, but in action figure form, something about it just makes me not want to mess with it because I'm afraid it'll break. I'll break it. So I don't pose it very dynamically with uh, the, the arms and, and these cool poses and whatnot, usually. That also applies to the chest area, like the where the vest kind of goes down on both sides and the like where it's like the gold flame is is that that the tips of that just barely start to touch the the driver belt and again that's something that makes me not want to really pose the figure so much however the suit still does look really cool i like the color scheme i love the motif but i think something else that i realized while i was doing this part right here is that the Flames kind of remind me of something that I think it's called like a bowler shirt or something like like something that like Guy Fieri would wear. And, you know, that's not something that, uh, you know, that's not a slight on anyone who, who wears stuff like that or a shirt like that. It's just not something that I particularly care for. And maybe like I had a bad experience with someone who who wore those shirts. I don't know. Somehow I have something that I don't like about it. However, his sword that he comes with is awesome and when he's when he's holding the sword too like that adds to my appreciation of this figure and this suit and because he just looks so cool holding the sword and the sword looks really cool too i, I i'm a big fan of that probably because it looks like an audio meter and that's something that i work in all the time and and i don't know i like that I definitely love the dragon motif. I think that that's really cool and that his eyes like where they're flared out because it's the the head of the dragon. That's really rad. And the driver in this show is really neat with the crank that works on this figure. It's fantastic and I'm a huge fan of that. Now, that all being said, I still like this figure. I still think Figure Arts did a really good job given the the suit design as it is on the show. They did a good job replicating it and the the colors are really cool. And it's got a cool sword. So there you go. And yeah, I overall do like this figure. Just It's just not my favorite suit on the show. If you're looking for a really cool character named Banjo to go to your really cool characters named Banjo shelf of action figures, this is a good one to add to it. If you like superheroes with dragon motifs and that may or may not be murderers banjo ryuga is right up there with the best of them all right well that's going to do it for me today thanks so much for watching and if you liked what you saw hit the like button if you want to see more from me hit the subscribe and let me know in the comments did you like common rider cross z did you prefer his other forms to uh this base form i guess you'd call it uh let me know in the comments and until then else time